Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to use a green screen in OBS Studio so that in your live stream, you can take out your background. As you see here, it's just me and the chair. Now in this video, I'm not going to show you guys step by step on how to actually set up OBS Studio or how to add your game or your webcam video feed. I have other videos on this channel that show you guys those steps. And if you guys want to see those videos, I have links in the description. Now in this video, I'm going to assume that you already have OBS Studio set up with your webcam video feed and you are already sitting in front of a green screen. So here I'm actually doing this with a gaming video. So here you have my PS4 in the background. As you see in my source, the PS4 is in the bottom and then webcam is on top. And then I can move this pretty much anywhere, but I want to get rid of this green screen. So what you do is you go to your actual source for your video feed. For me, it's webcam. Right click on that and then go to filters. And then here, where it says effect filters, go to the little plus symbol. Click on that and then go to chroma key. Once you're on here, you can rename it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it chroma key. And then this window is a little bit too small, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And here you can see that overall, I did a pretty good job in getting rid of this green screen, but you can see here there are certain areas that are a little darker, not very well lit. So it's actually having trouble getting that. So here you have several different sliders to make adjustments to fine tune this to your liking. Your lighting might be different than mine and you might have to tweak it in different ways, but I'm gonna show you with my current lighting. Now, let me give you guys a quick little heads up on the lighting. You definitely wanna be well lit. I have two soft boxes that are going on each side of the green screen and then I have a separate light source in front of me lighting my face. You're definitely going to want to make sure that you have your green screen well lit. If it's not, then you're probably going to have some issues and it's not going to look that great. So here you can choose what color you want. So some people use blue screens or whatever other custom color you want. For me, I'm using a green screen. Then you have your first slider similarity. And then this pretty much is like the threshold for the green that it takes away. So as you can see, I'm moving it. I'm going to move it even more. Now I see that's too much. Now it's getting rid of part of my actual data over my shirt, part of my face. So you don't want to go too extreme on either end. You want to make sure that you and your face and your body are completely solid and then do your best on the rest of the feed. Now in a bit, I'm going to end up cropping this video feed of myself. So I'm okay with this bottom part showing a little bit. I'm okay with that not being perfect because I'm going to end up trimming that out anyways. But around my face and up to like about here, I want to make sure that that looks pretty solid. Then you have smoothness and then your smoothness will kind of help fix some of those edges. So the more smooth, the more it gets similar color patches. So I'm going to go to, again, right before it starts taking out data of mine, right there, it's still taking out part of the doubt me. I'm going to right there, that looks about good. Then you have color spill. This is like for the edges. If there's any green around like my hat, things like that, I can adjust this to kind of get rid of some of it. But if you go too strong, as you can see, it starts to make some of the uh, color a little off. So you definitely want to make sure that you are very careful with it. That looks about good. And then opacity is just if you want yourself to be either fully transparent or there. I leave that at 100 always. That looks pretty good to me. Go ahead and press close. And then now we have a video feed. Again, you see in this bottom right, there are definitely some issues because it's not very well lit there. Now I could spend a little bit more time on my lighting scenario and actually make sure that it's more well lit, but again, I'm gonna trim it. So what you could do is on your keyboard, hold Alt and then click on any one of the boxes around the sides. And then you can actually trim your feed. That looks pretty damn good to me. And then now we can just drag this and put this wherever we want. So let's start recording so I can make this full screen. And actually in Call of Duty, there's a lot of information on this side. So I'm actually going to move it to over here. Let's go there. There we go. And that's how simple it is to use a green screen in OBS Studio to delete your background. Again, I have a lot of other videos on how to use OBS Studio and live stream through OBS Studio. Make sure to click the links in the description of this video to see all those videos if you need help in various situations. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.